In this video, I'm going to give a quick demonstration illustrating the use of the video lecture information package. This demonstration is being performed on a system running the Linux operating system, so the desktop likely looks somewhat different from the desktop on your computer. Nevertheless, the basic ideas of this video easily carry over to other types of systems. So what I'm showing here is I've taken the uh, zip archive from the course website and downloaded it and placed it in this folder that we're viewing here. So the first thing I'm going to do is extract the zip archive. So I'll do this through the graphical interface on my desktop. So this has created a new folder. This folder has the contents of the zip archive. So I'll go into this folder and you'll see there are a number of files and also another subfolder. So the readme file I'm not going to go through here but I would recommend that you take a look at the contents on your own. There's some information in it that might be useful. The next thing I want to look at is this file lectureslides.pdf. So if I open this up, what this is is the complete set of lecture slides that are used in the videos. They should match fairly closely. Um, they have hyperlinks that you can use so if I want to follow through the course material in the order that it's covered in, this, in the lectures I can go to the next slide that's covered This is, and then kind of step through the slides and then follow to the next thing that's covered for example following these links. Um, also if I go to, let's see what would be a good example for a slide, uh, so, some of the slides have examples that are gone through. If you click on these examples, these are hyperlinks so they actually go to documents which are in the folder that's, that I was, you were seeing before. There's a folder called Slide Supplemental. It has a whole bunch of PDF files which are all of the examples that are covered in the slides. So you can easily jump between the slides and the examples that are covered on each slide. For example, I can go to the other example that's covered here by clicking on the hyperlink. So that was the lecture slides.pdf file. Uh, the examples that we are looking at, the things that are hyperlinked to are in this directory here. So all of the examples that are referenced in the, in the slot lecture slide slide deck that we were looking at before are all in this folder. So when you extract the zip archive, it's really important that you don't change the location of these uh, the relative location of these contents that are extracted otherwise the hyperlinks in the document that we were using before won't be able to find the documents in this slide supplemental directory. Uh, the other file is these uh, lecture examples.pdf so if I open this up what this has is all the examples all put together into a single PDF file that are covered in the lectures and they include all of these uh, examples include annotations so like they're all annotated the examples with extra comments that might be helpful to you so that's basically a, a brief introduction to the the uh, information package for the video lectures um, again it's really important when you extract these files don't change the, the uh, relative positions or names of the files from how they're extracted otherwise the hyperlinks won't work and although the particular uh, PDF viewer that I'm using here obviously is one that's specific to Linux uh, if you're using any reasonable web browser these hyperlinks should work like Adobe Acrobat and so on they should all work if you're, you're you know viewing the this lecture slides document and you click on one of these hyperlinks for any reasonable PDF viewer these links should work and they should take you to the corresponding document that's in this slide supplemental directory. So that's a brief introduction to the information package for the video lectures.